I hope you guys enjoyed watching that montage because I definitely had fun making it. If you haven't played Kiriko already, I highly recommend that you do. And if you have played her, then stick around for the rest of this video because I'll be going over some tips and tricks I learned while playing her. Going over the basics, these are the settings that you're going to want. Starting with Swift Step Sensitivity maxed, that way you don't have to aim as much when you're trying to teleport out quickly. Next, you're going to want to make healing a Futa 100 because it's basically free aim assist. Lastly, toggle healing a Futa off, that way you can stop healing sooner to dish out more damage. As of right now, you can animation cancel primary fire with melee, which means from close range you can output way more damage than you would just holding down the primary fire. Are you having trouble doing damage with Kiriko? Well, maybe you should try shooting at their heads. If you're not consistently going for headshots, then you shouldn't be playing her. It's not as hard as you think, most of the time you just need to keep your crosshair at head level and walk into the shots, with some small adjustments here and there. Don't shoot tanks. Well shoot them, but nowhere near as much as you would on any other character. If there's nothing else to shoot at or they're low, then okay, but otherwise you should focus on landing your headshots on squishy targets. Two headshots and they're dead, and if they take any kind of spam damage, then one headshot and they're dead. She can heal from very far away, but the closer you are, the quicker your allies get healed. In my opinion, it's better to heal from a safe distance rather than stuffing your allies with heals because more often than not, you'll end up putting yourself in harm's way. Wall climb a lot. There's so many good uses for wall climb. It's a no cooldown escape tool, a 1v1 movement mix up, and just gets you free high grounds, which also gives you easier headshots. Abuse the support self heal passive. One of the things that make Kiriko so strong is that she can take poke duels and literally AFK to heal herself. Whereas a DPS hero has to grab a health pack or run the healers. When possible, nading a wall is better than nading the floor for the simple reason that it's easier to land a follow up headshot since your crosshair is already near head level. Her ultimate has a cast time that will punish you if you don't account for it. It works almost like Reinhardt's Earth Shatter in the sense that there's a brief moment where you can't do anything but the forced animation. This means if you want your ultimate to go somewhere, then you have to look at that direction a bit longer than usual. My last, and for me personally most important tip, is to nade before you ult. It's not always a 100% thing, but take my word for it, I've died or let an ally die so many times trying to nade after the cast time. And really, unless you're saving it for something in particular, there's no reason to greet it. The ult speeds up the cooldown timer, so you get it back pretty quick anyways. That's going to be it for the tips and tricks section, and now for a very, very short guide on how to play Kiriko. In the ideal scenario, you are a DPS that heals. That means if you ever have the wiggle room for it, take duels, get aggressive angles, and win the game. All you need is two headshots. Hit a shot, nade yourself if you're about to get bursted, and if you can't get the finishing shot in time, just teleport away. When you use your cooldowns right, most 1v1s are low risk, high reward. Sometimes, you'll be forced to heal bot due to lack of heals or feeding teammates. Just keep trying to throw out some kunais. If you think about it, Kiriko is kind of like Widowmaker. You won't typically have a high damage number, but hitting a headshot here and there will carry games. That's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, comment, bell icon, all that jazz. And as always, Thank you for watching and good luck on the grind.